Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode four of the Weird, Freaky Brain Science of Drugs. In episode one, we talked a little bit about GABA, and we learned the three ways in which all drugs are similar. If you haven't learned the three ways in which all drugs are similar, please stop this video and go back to episode one. That's the foundation for all of the remaining episodes. For those of you that have seen episode one, and two and three, you already have the foundation. We're going to go a little deeper into what GABA does. In episode one, we talked about how GABA regulates anxiety and memory, and how alcohol dresses up as GABA. And that when someone drinks alcohol, in order to cross the blood brain barrier, or in order to fool the big beautiful bouncer, it ha alcohol dresses up as GABA. It gains entry to the club, floods the gap, helps create withdrawal, and helps create tolerance. We talked about these things. GABA does something else that I find fascinating. GABA helps regulate how much electrical activity is going on in the brain in any given moment. We, that spit where one brain cell is talking to another brain cell, the connection, if you will, the spit that makes reality, that's an electrochemical signal. So GABA helps regulate that power grid. So if that power grid loses its regulation, if the GABA factories are shutting down and the person's not getting real or not getting fake GABA, the power grid becomes unregulated. When that power grid becomes unregulated, the risk of seizures skyrockets. So, we talked about how alcohol dresses up as GABA. There's another type of drug that also dresses up as GABA. Benzos. Benzodiazepines. Prescription, narcotic, anti-anxiety medications. So, for someone who has severe anxiety and they're under the care of a prescription writer and they now have the ability to function in life in a beautiful and meaningful way because they're taking benzos, like high five to that person. That's beautiful. But for someone who doesn't have severe anxiety or is not under the care of a prescription writer, alcohol and benzos work inside of the brain cell in nearly the exact same way. So if somebody's taking benzos, and they're abusing them, and the GABA factories are shutting down, this person is now at risk for tremendous seizures. And it's no coincidence that alcohol and benzos are the only two drugs that can have a potentially fatal withdrawal. We know that we can overdose on almost any drug, but these are the two that if somebody suddenly discontinues using, quits cold turkey, they could be at risk for some really medically problematic events in their near future. I'm grateful for your time, folks. Thank you.